Good morning, Western Row. I'm Nick, and I'm also Allie. Okay. And, and we have your morning announcement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In school news, your book sales will come to an end shortly. Pre-order yours today through the, through the <laughs> link on GoRefs.org or stop by Ms. Kuyper's room, 6204, with $70 cash. You will receive a Rebel Pride bracelet upon purchase. If you already ordered one and haven't received your bracelet, stop by Ms. Kuyper's room to get it. You can get two for 140 Pretty good deal. Seniors, if you need a high school transcript or recommendation letter, complete the request forms that are available in guidance and allow two days to complete the requests. Also, seniors, cap and gown photos will be taken soon at school. You must have your picture taken in order to appear in the graduation slideshow. Stay tuned for more times and dates. Let me tell you a little bit about Driver's Ed, Allie. Okay. Coach Osborne is now signing up students for Driver's Ed. The class will begin Monday, January 12th after school. The cost is $295 cash or money order. You can sign up in the PE gym with Coach O. Coach O. Coach, Coach O. Coach oh. Osborne. Okay. Congratulations to Elisa Wright for her winning design for our 2015 Relay for Life t-shirt contest. Ms. Ganley would like to thank all students who submitted designs and participated. Elisa Wright, you need to see Ms. Lemoyne sometime this week. Again, congratulations, your art will appear on our school t-shirt. That's pretty cool. As you know, the flu shot is, uh, not the flu shot, the flu is here <laughs> with a vengeance. It's coming with a vengeance. Yes. Many of you probably have the flu over the holidays or know someone who had it. The clinic still has the flu shots available and encourages you to get your flu shot. The CDC has released a statement that the flu shot does not completely cover the flu because the flu virus has mutated since the vaccine was developed. However, the shot does cover part of the virus, so getting the shot would decrease the severity of the flu when you catch it. Last year's flu season was pretty mild, but this year's season is severe. Fifteen kids in the U.S. have died this year from the flu so far, which is kind of sad. So get your flu shot to prevent or decrease the severity of the flu. Did you get yours? I did get mine. I got mine pretty early this year, too. Me, too. I haven't got it so far. <laughs> in recognition of Mr. Lovelace's dedication to welcoming international exchange students, West Monroe High School has been chosen as one of the top 100 schools to qualify for special scholarships. As part of our commitment to the... How do you... <laughs> the... The... E, the I, I, e, I, I, e generation e generation study abroad initiative, students in our school will have access to a $1,000 study abroad grant if one or more of our students applies for a CIEE High School Summer Abroad Program. Qualified applicants can also receive additional financial aid through our Global Navigator Scholarship Program. See what U.S. students discover when they study abroad. Amazing. Unexpected. Life changing. Fulfilling. Spontaneous. Eye opening. Unique. Okay. Extraordinary. I'd say memorable, just because, like, never been to Africa before. So just coming to, like, an entirely new continent is amazing. This trip has taught me a lot about how to assimilate into a new culture and also how to communicate even when you don't know the language. Coming here has just been an amazing experience. Everything has just been awesome. But um, especially working with these kids here, and they kind of inspire me to be more grateful for just life in general. There's things that you can't learn in a classroom that you can, you can learn here. Seeing the locals, interacting with them, knowing how nice they are. Every day we do something new and exciting, and it's just awesome. I think I'll take back awareness that not all culture is like mine, but that mine isn't better than anybody else's. 
and we've seen a lot of students stepping up and being leaders. They're better able to interact with other cultures. They're more independent. They see what they have. They're very, very thankful. And they develop great connections. They see that people all over the world are very, very different from them, but also very, very similar. You guys should most definitely come on this program. Go abroad anywhere. It's a wonderful experience and you will gain so much from it. So just make sure you go abroad. I just hope you do. In club news, Junior Civil Trans will have a brief meeting today at 315 in Mrs. Beach's room, 6206. Student Council, don't forget you have a meeting next Tuesday, January 13 at 7.15 a.m. in Ms. Jones' room. Also, Student Council is collecting eyeglasses and sunglasses for the Lions Club of Louisiana. Please bring your old or broken eyeglasses to room 5202. In exchange, you will receive a sweet treat. In sports news, boys track tryouts for running events will be today and tomorrow after school. Congratulations to the Lady Rebel JV soccer team for their win 4-0 over Wachita last night at Rebel Stadium. Heather Larry led the scoring with two goals, and Kimmy Balance and Morgan Downer each added a goal. Maddie Norris and Maddie Maxwell each had an assist as well. The JV is currently undefeated and will play next, next weekend on Friday at Rebel Stadium at 5 and 7.30, and then again on Saturday at 2 and 3.30. The varsity soccer teams are also in action this week. Come, out, come on out to the Rebel Stadium tonight to cheer on both the soccer teams in a district match VS versus Ash with the <laughs> boys starting at 5.30 and the girls playing after at 7.15. As always, all students get in free. Are you going? I don't think so. It's too cold. Yeah. FC, FCA will meet in the new gym on Thursday at 7.30. Come and enjoy life together. That's all the announcements we have for you today. Have a great day, West Monroe.